So guys, this week's story in CBDNN is whether it's not just illegal, but whether it's um, not illegal to just arrest, but illegal to incarcerate kids for weed. And initially I was going to bring up a News24 story, but it was actually quite a shit story in hindsight. Uh, the better one's definitely the ground up one. I don't know if we've updated the link, but if we haven't, the ground up story is the one. Um, it's titled, Criminalizing Cannabis Use by Children is Unconstitutional Court Rules. Court hears children are languishing for months in detention for trivial offenses. Mm -hmm. And the bullet points are that the High Court has ruled that children cannot be incarcerated for trivial offences such as smoking dacha. The court ordered that audits found children treated more severely than adults were for identical circumstances, uh, that a section of the Drug Trafficking Act was found to be unconstitutional, and the court also found school drug tests were being conducted unlawfully. Mm. Uh, this all basically blew up after some kids were mounted for a... Uh, for weed in a Krugersdorp school. Remember, we, we spoke about it many <coughs> episodes ago, and Jules was particularly <coughs> incensed about the fact that these children had spent, it was it, Charles, was it weeks or months? Yeah, detention. Ground Up found that the kids are often treated worse than adults. They'd actually been taken away from their parents, and they were being held hostage illegally by, I don't know, was it child welfare or something they'd be social taken away services. from their parents and it, it social was services social services yeah mm. and and it was this particular case that has ended up with this ruling so i think well, Macy will be smiling down with this one because he was really yes. like so they've also uh, stipulated that if um they catch school kids smoking dacha they have to keep it hush hush and not mm. make a scene about it they can't take legal action mm -hmm. and they have to like uh, handle it in a private uh, manner with a pupil without embarrassing him in front of his friends yeah um that whole name and shame strategy yeah, is out the window it's 2020 kids also have a constitutional right the, to these young them. adults get scarred by how, uh, how the teachers treat them because of dacha mm. and then they get things get taken away like bursaries you know it's completely mm. exaggerated behavior where this whole drug trafficking mm -hmm. act needs to be rewritten it's high high time so high high time yeah, show. Exactly. high time so what made this ground up article so good is that it went into some some heavy detail about what this was because what i'm starting to see is that the judges said that yes that it was the cannabis thing that brought this atten to their attention but the ruling actually pertains to a much wider spectrum in a way this cannabis thing became a gateway to more human rights yeah, it's um, an excuse for the authorities to uh, uh, do human rights abuses on, on civil society. Yeah. yeah, but now they're saying that what's on the flip of the coin is while the cops have been denying us as an abuser, abusing it against us, now that it's on the other side of the fence, this ruling, it's going to open more human rights cases for children. Because what the judges found was that it, it wasn't just weed that had become an issue. This just, this just brought the spotlight on it. Uh, the question before, uh, uh, sorry, uh, the court audits into youth detention said the court ordered audits into youth detention centers that have revealed dozens of children were languishing in them, not only for dacha related offenses, but other trivial offenses. One found guilty of stealing goods worth 200 rand. 200 rand, guys, okay, had been sent for compulsory residence <coughs> for four months. What? Yes. The judge said if an, adult, worse. if an adult first offender had committed the offence, she or he would most certainly not have been incarcerated at all. No. In other fine. particularly egregious examples, a child was ordered to serve one year for malicious damage to property valued at 300 rand. This what? after he broke a window and threw bottles at his stepfather. Come on, man. No. White bro. boys, we make movies about having stepbrothers and stepdads and this kind of shit. Oaks are going to, to, to jail, not jail. Jimmy, right? basically. Yeah. Another broke a window to gain access to his own home. For this, he served six months. Yes. Another he stole a hair clipper money. for 150 bucks. He got six months. Hey, yeah, the yeah. judge says these centers are not soft options. They are very structured institutions with fenced environments. Going there involves the deprivation of liberty and being placed with other youthful offenders who have committed more serious offenses. 
But now what was very fucked up for me is that the only opposition, the only opposition to people saying, hey, whoa, what's going on here is hectic, Oaks, whoa, whoa, stop before Kalori. The only people who, uh, who objected initially was the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions. The only people who objected is the people whose job it is to send these children hmm? to these Did kiddie jails. Yeah. The rest of them didn't care. And to separate them from their families, which is probably already a fucked up situation now to get this far. I'm just, I'm, I'm blown away that the lawyers are the ones fighting for themselves to carry on doing this. Well, well it doesn't make sense, doesn't it? Because they're going to run out of things. They're going to have to start prosecuting real crimes just now. God mm -hmm. forbid. Well, gr ground up. Job. Roundup that wrote this article had a webinar this week on police brutality in South Africa. Mm. And it turns out there are two other really big issues. From our perspective, we need to end this issue, this involvement with the police and cannabis, because it makes no sense yeah. and it's wasting government mm. resources. This should be a golden new industry that can help South Africa. But the two other big issues in police brutality is torture and rape. Yes. And those are really serious things that's, that's not really of interest to the cannabis community, you know. No, it is we, we actually care a lot. we've had police raiding we, the homes of single mothers for like two yeah, constitutionally allowed months and threatening in front of their children to rape the, these single moms. Yeah, One was a captain in some year. And yeah. let us know about it. There we get never demonetized for another yeah. 500 no, years. But we just it's know. Women's Month. Cops, you can stop fucking threatening to rape us. Yeah. We must just know that there are those are also big issues, rape yeah, and torture. The, the police are guilty of that as well. Yeah. You know, so these people really need to be held accountable and we need to, you know, avoid this. And cannabis could be the first thing that, that needs to be cut out of the picture because it's often the gateway for them to, to get to exactly. these people to rape and to torture them. Exactly. Yeah, you know, it's heavy days out there, hey guys. It's like I know we're coming up on the anniversary of the ruling. We're going to see what happens. You know, there's a lot of questions that we're seeing, we're seeing, we're holding our breath and Ooh. all that. Mm -hmm. the this thing with the kids, though, do you know, it also shows that, you know, the searching of people, even kids, you can't just someone do it now. You can't just say, at the school, mm -hmm. pee in the thing. I'm going to mm -hmm. search your bag or whatever and that. And it's good to see that children are getting some degree of rights. It just... It's about it just, respect it just for human beings. It just blows my mind the kind of time these kids are doing. Because yeah. mm. they're not going to fucking summer camp. And they're not going to no. recover from it. No, you don't no, bounce back from it. scars you for life. Yeah. They're learning much worse behavior in there as well. Yeah, hey. No, it's disgusting. The human rights abuses by this government, I don't understand why they hate their citizens so damn much. Yeah, and it feels like, it feels like no one's a winner. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like defending cops here. I'm just like, I'm saying at the end of the day, the cop who's got the shit job and the shit salary mm -hmm. is having to put probably people he knows in his own community. Kids he knows, because these cops aren't from Sant and driving into Suez. These are people that live yeah, in, in their community. community. So they, they're having to put people they know away. They're not winning. The people being put away aren't winning. The government's not winning. Who's winning here? Who's winning? I'm not saying there's a conspiracy. It's a big drain with time and money going down. No, it's for no reason. We'll pull down. Really. I just don't know. I, I've never. That's one thing I've never understood. Like, where's the where's the result of the equation? Mm. You know, what's the anyway? There's guys. no purpose to it. It seems so pointless. There's no reason at the end of this time at all. It's a vicious circle. It yeah, really <clears throat> heavy shit, Oaks. No harm. But in a way, it's good news because it was a victory. It's a victory. We mustn't forget that. I know we're saying. Mm. And now they must victory, start I mean, suing for more, unlawful. More, there's more notice about cannabis, and there's yeah. more rights, and there's yes, yeah, so it's more, it's better. Well, these kids' parents can start suing on their behalf for unlawful arrest and detention. Yeah. And three grand a day for six months. Ooh la la. Yeah, and at the end, we're the ones who all pay it. No, because <laughs> the arresting officers have to pay now. It's going to show us this job. harm that they pretend cannabis causes. Show us the harm. Show yeah. it to us. That arresting like officer. Scientific the cops are the only harm. You, you can't have unjustified <laughs> regulations. You know, it has to be based on science. <laughs> you can't have that. And no, bro. Isn't jailing kids not allowed under the UN? Probably. I don't. It's quite shocking that we only woke up now in 2020 so for all these years we've been jailing kids for that. I think what, what where this falls is so technically <coughs> these kids aren't being sent to like a poor okay, rehabilitation more, center or they, something. They've huh? been sent to rehabs but also to, uh, to kids' detention centers, which yeah. are like uh, uh, jail light. 
Yeah, but then they force organized yeah. religion on these kids. Or as well, junior which is jail. Also they go to junior jail. jail. They go to junior jail. But remember, it's junior jail for six months. And this isn't junior jail with all the DSTV and the Netflix, no, it's, eh? It's your and the Stuyvesant. The criminal underworld. Yeah, no. It's yeah, and not all yeah. of them are only in there for stealing yeah. 200 bucks worth of stuff. Some have done some gruesome things. Gruesome things. And you're mixing and a stone and kid through with. through a gruesome life already and are just raging at the world, I suppose. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. <coughs>